Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw a graph in Word. I'm going to show you how to draw a line graph and I'm going to show you how to draw a bar graph. Now, these are not connected to any figures. These are just simply drawings or annotations or diagrams that you can use in your document. So firstly, I'm just going to go to insert, go to shapes, and then just click line. And just click and drag out a line. If you hold the shift key down, it will ensure that your line is perfectly vertical or perfectly horizontal. I'm going to customize this line first. So I've selected it, go to shape format, and then go along to format pane over here. So if you click on this, you'll get this menu here. Go down to line, go to solid line, and then you can change the color. I'm going to change it to black. And then I'm going to change the width of my line to two. I'm just going to enter in two and press enter, and that will change the thickness of my line. Once I've customized that, all I'm going to do is copy and paste it. So Command or Control C, Command or Control V, and then just grab the little green circles. There we go. And then you can just move this to connect to the other line. Uh, you can see that's not quite connected. There we go. So these are your axis lines. Now you can go up and insert other lines. So let's just go back up to shapes and lines again. Now let's just click and draw out a line. And again, you can customize this line. If you don't want to go over to this menu, you can customize it up here. Make sure you're on shape format. If, you're, if this doesn't appear, it's because you haven't selected this line. So make sure you're on shape format and you can select any color at the top here. Let's keep ours to orange. And then I can insert another line. So again, shapes, line, and I can click out another line. And I'm going to keep this one blue, but I'm going to go over to this menu here and I'm going to go to line type or dash type and I'm going to click on a dotted line. And I'm going to increase that line to one point because it's not quite thick enough. There you can see it's a slightly more dotted line. Let's just increase that to two, actually. There you go. And then let's do the same with this orange line. Let's just increase that to two as well. No, maybe 1.5. It's a bit thick. There we go. Okay, so if you want to now have a curved line, go to Insert, Shape, and then go to this icon here, which is Curve. If you click and drag and then double click and you can see sometimes it creates a little curve at the top here which you can't quite see so go to shape format go along to edit shape click on the drop down and select edit points now, I've got too many points here as you can see so I want to get rid of this one so I'm going to select this one hit my control key and click on it and it will disappear now you've got these black markers at the top and once you click on them, you have these handles. Just click and drag out these handles and you can begin to make a curve. Again at the bottom, click on the black marker and again you can drag this out to wherever you like. And then once you're happy, click away. And once again you can click on that curve and you can change the color of that line. So let's go to green and again over here, let's change the weight of that line to 1.5. And there you have it. Now you can just see at the corner here that that line is in front of the black uh, axis line. So I'm going to send that backwards or just bring this line forward. So if you click on this axis line, go to format shape, go to the bring forwards icon, click on the drop down and select bring to front. And now you can see the lines have gone behind there and it's nice and neat at the corner. Now for some text. So I'm going to go to insert. Now normally I'd use text boxes for this, but if you want to save this graph as a picture, you can't save text boxes as a picture. So you have to use word art. So I'm going to click on the drop down and select this first word art here. And I'm just going to customize this text. Now at the moment you can't quite see it but this has actually got a little bit of a shadow on it, which I'm going to get rid of. So select it, 
go to shape format and along to your format shape menu over here let's just pull this in a bit go to this icon here go to shadow you can see here go to presets click on the drop down and just select no shadow and there you've just got some plain text now we're going to go to the home tab and you can use all of these tools here to customize your text i'm just going to change mine to 10 points and then just type in quantity and then just move that up to the very top and then just line up those squares with the line and then I'm going to copy and paste it for the one down here double click and then just type time just use my arrow keys just to move this box down if you can't move it, it might be because your cursor is inside the box. Just click off the box and back on and it should be fine. Okay, I'm going to hold down my Alt key. This is a really quick way to copy and paste. I'm going to hold down my Alt key and just click and drag. It's just a really quick way of copy and pasting. Double click inside and I'm just going to start to put my values in the bottom here. And then again, hold my Alt key down, just click and drag out some values okay so I'm going to move this box to the end here don't worry too much about spacing them accurately because we're going to use an alignment tool which will sort that out so double click inside and change the value once you've done that select them all hold down your command or control key whilst you click on each one go back to shape format go to align click on the drop down and go down to distribute horizontally and that will ensure they're equally spaced and then if you go up to the align tool again and just align to top then it all will be perfectly lined up now you can group them which makes life a little easier because they won't be nudged right click on them go down to group and then just select group now you can see that it's not quite straight here so I'm just going to click on this line because the numbers will be straight but this line's not quite straight so I'm going to click on that Look at my shift key. Let's see if that's square now. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to select a text box again, hold my Alt key down, click and drag, and do that again. Okay, and once again, let's just select them all, holding down the Command or Control key. Let's go to align, distribute vertically, so they're all equally spaced, and then align to right. And then again, we'll just group them, and then we can just move them over to where we want them. Perfect. Now, once you've done all that, you can group all this together and save it as a picture. So I can go ahead, hold my command or control key down, click on every element, all the lines and just to go to group and group and then you've got one complete graph and then all you need to do is right click I'll show you how to do the bar graph in a second right click go down and save as picture so let me just go back a few steps and I'll show you how to format the bar graph there we go and now just go to insert shape and go down to rectangle and then just simply click and drag out a rectangle now this rectangle by default will come with a slightly darker border line and a blue fill color so if you select it go to shape format and here you can get rid of that outline if you want to or you can choose a different outline but i'm just going to select no outline and then if you go to shape fill here you've got a number of colors to choose from or you can go to more fill colors and then you can just simply move this cursor around and select the color of your choice. So if we go back to this one here, all I'm going to do is hold down the Alt key and simply copy and paste it. And then once again, I'm going to select each one. Don't worry about the alignment because we're going to sort that out now. Go to Shape Format, Align, and then Distribute Horizontally and then align, align to top. Now you can see they're not all quite lined up along that line along the bottom. So all we need to do is select them all and then just use your arrow key to move them down. 
on the line now, so click on the line, go to Shape Format, go to Bring Forwards, click on the drop down and select Bring to Front. And then you can see that line has been brought in front of those bars. And you can now go ahead and you can adjust these bars, moving them up and down. And then of course you can go ahead and change the color. So if we select a slightly lighter blue, And then of course you can change the color. If you want to insert some text in the bars then you can go ahead and do that. Just select one of these boxes here, click and drag. Just simply turn the box around and then just drag it into your bar like that. Again once you're done you can select everything and then just simply group it together and save it as a picture. Now I'd advise you to save it as a picture because if I select everything, I'm going to group it together, right click, group, group it together. Now I can move this as a round as a group, which is great, but if I want to try and resize it, look what happens to everything. You see all the numbers and the letters just vanish. Command or Control Z to go back. So now if I was to save this as a picture, I can save it as a PNG file or I can save it as a JPEG, it's up to you. A PNG file would just mean the background's transparent so you won't get a white background. I'm just going to quickly save that. So now if I import a picture, so insert picture, picture from file, insert my picture. I can't move the picture so I need to go to wrap text in front of text. Now I can move it round. Now if I resize this one, you can see all the text and the numbers stay perfectly clear, which is great for a document. So I would advise that you probably made a picture out of this if you just want it as a diagram. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.